So this is for uh, Lisa, uh, Lisa, am I saying that right? Liza, thank Liza, you for asking, it's very nice of you, yeah. Liza. How does it feel to have gone from YouTube all the way to Disney Channel? This is a dream I didn't realize could actually come true. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, do that one more time, but right over to me. Oh yeah, do you want to hit the same note? Oh, yeah, okay, please. got you. This <laughs> the is same dream. note? <laughs> <laughs> a dream that I didn't realize could come true. Uh, this is, it's so sick. You know, I grew up watching Disney Channel. I'm heavily influenced by Raven Simone. I clearly am the knockoff version of her. Uh, that's what I integrated into my YouTube. I'm, I'm cheaper though, don't worry about it. Uh, you can hire me for less. But I was all over like YouTube creating these skits and sketches and then to be a part of a collaborative creative process with someone who raised me, Dan, uh, with Phineas and Ferb, and now be a part of Hamster and Gretel. It's the coolest experience in the world. Yeah. 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 Good question. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I think Dan is, is so incredible in the fact that, like, he, I, it feels weird because he's, like, sitting right there. I'm like, he, yeah. Say like. Dan, Dan, no, no, turn around. Turn your ear. No, no, Dan, Dan. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Anyways, so... Dan is great because like, you know, he gives us creative freedoms that I feel like normally a, a creator would not be willing to do. Like, you know, he's not married to the words where he's like, yeah, if you want to change something, just go for it. Or if like, it's like not flowing right. He's like, yeah, let's just change this and like take this out. And, and it, it's so fun for him to just like understand that this is like a collaborative thing. And that's, it's, it's, it's celebrated and it should be celebrated so much more, you know, like we all love Dan. I love Dan too, I guess. Yeah, he's great. He really is. And he like allows you to just like bring in your jokes, bring in your energy and uh, he just encourages chaos, which is yeah. just, like no, it's what great. I do in the studio. Yeah. I feel like I'm very physical in the studio and just like yeah. holding and gripping onto a pencil because my character's a reporter, so I'm just like holding onto a mic because he makes me. Dan makes me. I'm just gonna eat that. <laughs> You're throwing things yeah, yeah, in the yeah. booth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's you fun. Embody a, a cartoon reporter. Ooh, kind of like yourself, the way you're gripping the camera. <laughs> Everything, like, moments like this I pull from, experiences like this I pull from, and, like, realize, like, oh, this is just someone who's just ridiculously curious and, like, wants the story just to be told in the best way possible and make it interesting and, like, capture you with the headline, just like you're doing right now. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great, y'all. <laughs> Well, so we never actually recorded together. This is our, today yeah. was like the first day that we met. And yeah, yeah weirdly enough, we hit it off, luckily. Because that'd be really awkward if we okay. were doing all these. All right, yeah, no, it's good. So we weren't hitting it off. It's fine. No, I thought we were cool, but no. Uh, no it, it's great. like, luckily enough, it's like, sometimes you meet people and you're just like, it just flows. It works. You know? yeah. It works. Yeah. I know. It's been 45 minutes deep and we're, we're at Yeah, we're doing, level. we're chilling. We're, we're, we're chilling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like with voice acting, like, you're not as scared to just, like, take risks because no one can see you. <laughs> like, and also it's like, you, literally, you can just do whatever you want to do because, like, you're just imagining it in your head. So if, if you, whatever you need to do to help you get to the place that you want to be, you can do. Like, I'm not limited by what my face is going to look like or whatever. So, yeah, that, that, I'd say that's probably my favorite part. It feels like the broadest of comedy. Like, yeah. It just feels like mm -hmm. the most insane overacting in the world the stretchies you can be with your face it's gonna help you emote that emotion that your character yeah with your voice yep yeah so it's just it's fun it's free yeah so michael for your character you were gonna get superpowers but it goes to a hamster instead of you yeah how, how do you feel about that and how does that affect uh the series going forward well you know also the big brother too so yes you gotta be a bigger person well, well so so it's like you know i feel like that, that whole power dynamic is interesting too, where it's like, I, I feel like Dan is so smart for flipping that whole dynamic where it's like, it, the, the stereotypical like, oh, girls are, boys are stronger than girls. And it's like, his sister is so exponentially stronger than him and, <laughs> and, and like just way more, obviously like way more skilled and more adapt to, to deal with everything. And I love that like, Dan is changing that like narrative that is so archaic and like flipping it on its head. You know what I mean? And I think that that's like such a smart way of thinking. So now Kevin is just the guy in the chair, you know, or the guy in the minivan really. And it, he's just there to support his little sister as much as he can. And obviously he wanted to be a superhero really badly, but isn't, so yeah. I mean, I watched a lot of anime and like, you know, I, I watched a lot of cartoons growing up, but I, I wouldn't say like there's like any one particular like voice actor that I'm like so like into. Cause like, 
I mean, when you watch cartoons as a kid, you're like, hmm, who's that voice actor? Like, at <laughs> yeah. least for me, I was never like, oh yeah, oh my gosh. Okay. That's, um, but yeah, yeah, for me, like, it wasn't like, oh yeah, this is one person that I'm gonna, yeah. Yep. Mine's Allison Stoner, who you just interviewed. Uh, <laughs> I know, she's brilliant, and she's just such a charismatic, like, incredible, charming person, and she just pours that into any character that she plays. Did you just pour on that on yourself? Yeah, I didn't spin it. No, <laughs> nice. I, I didn't do that way. You're like, it's not on camera. To my words. <laughs> yeah, it's not on camera. <laughs> but she just like pours herself into any character that she does play. She killed it in Phineas and Ferb for 14 years. Like she raised me, and now I get to be in a project with her. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you take you take. I think as you get older and you realize, oh, those are humans playing that. Those are creatives. Those are actors playing yep. these characters. Uh, and that fourth wall is kind of broken. You start to take note and realize, oh, that's cool. I want to bend my voice in that way. Or like, I want to go sing songy with the way that I deliver this line. Like, it's fun to think about it strategically. But mostly it's just brain to just have fun. Yeah. With it. Yeah. 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 So Liza, uh, you mentioned your character is a reporter. Could you tell yeah. us more about uh, who she is and what she does on the series? Yeah, so I forever have a pain in my hand because I always gripped a pen the whole time in the studio like this. Uh, it was really intense. I didn't need to do that, but that's exactly what I did. I'm sorry I wiped that down. But uh, it was it was just fun to be a reporter. I've done interviews in the past, so I kind of tapped into uh, that previous work experience that I had, and that's how I kind of got started in the industry before acting and voice acting. So I just I really just tapped into that. It was fun though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like you. Okay, so could like, you use? Your, I get you guys yeah, I want to get you more right, yeah, so yeah, so good. Good. Could you do a like using your voice from the series? Could you give us like a debrief on your character and like a message for kids? Oh, okay. That's actually a good. That's a okay. Um, I feel like my voice is my regular. Oh God! Like now, like put on the spot. I'm like. You could. Um, okay. Good question. Um, okay. So like a debrief on the show and the character's voice. Okay. Um, oh God, now I'm yeah. nervous. You go you first. Got this you go game. first. You got this uh, did you see like me like start to do it I and know. I got nervous? See, that's why we have Dan write the line. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> no, you got it. You yeah, got it. You no. it. Hi, I'm Kevin, and my little sister Gretel got superpowers, and now I'm taking care of her. I guess, kind of. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. That was perfect. That was on the mark for Kevin because he's unsure, but he yeah, also is yeah, super yeah. in his own ways. It was brilliant. I like it, Kevin. I like it, Kevin. All also, right, now it's your turn. This is one of his first voice acting gigs, and his voice is so buttery. Just more to come from this. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This you're is, hype man. I told you. Yeah, yeah, no, you're doing really good at this. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, do you mind if I borrow your pen again? You have to wipe this down. You gotta wipe it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, it's her pen. Sorry, dog. I'm gonna take it. It's a souvenir. Um, <laughs> hi, Veronica Hill here on the scene at Comic Con, being asked to give a full synopsis of our show. Well, let me tell you, kid. Q. Uh, it basically is all about Hamster and Gretel, but hey, it's also about Veronica Hill. I'm a part of the headline as well. I want to tell the story. I'm gonna tell it right. And sometimes the story is gonna be about me, even if it's not. I'm gonna insert myself in it. Thanks for watching. Back to you, Dan. That was good. That was a lot better than mine. That was, I'm gonna be honest. That, was, that, was, that was good. That was really good. <laughs> Nah, you were Kevin all the way. You're in your character. Yeah, right? yeah. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the microphone. Oh, goodness. You know I'm going to give you one more shot. He's got a sister with superpowers, and he just gets to be a normal reporter. What? So can you tell <laughs> oh, yeah. Me, like, like, hey, I'm the so-and-so for her. This is my character from Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. Sometimes, like, little sisters get the power, man. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. I got I like you. Okay. Right? That's good. Okay. No, uh, hey, this is Kevin from Hamster and Gretel, and, you know, listen, sometimes... You think that you will get superpowers, but instead your little sister gets them. So, uh, you know, it's all right. That's just life, I guess. <laughs> I love that. You've got his inflection and everything. Yeah. You sound just like him. <laughs> I wonder why. I just wonder. It's a good impression, man. <laughs> how old are you guys? I'm 26. And how old are you? 22. All right. Awesome. You guys have a very beautiful energy. Ah, Thank well, you. you know. We're in a kid show. Works out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, that's a classic question for any superhero content. Uh, people say read minds, but I swear I can already do that. Oh no, I, I, I'm too much of an empath. I just assume and create those thoughts. <laughs> They're always wrong. I'm sometimes right. <laughs> what do you think? It's my pen. <laughs> um, 
say. What's your answer? Um, okay, all right. My, no, mine is really lame. I would want to have either this the ability to. No, actually, no. The ability to remember everyone's name. Oh, that's, that's so such good. a good, useful superpower. Where it's like it's like low key, but like you will remember every single person's name. That's like actually like such a good thing to have. Well, no, it's just also just like I feel like it's like that thing where it's like you meet so many people and it's like it's so nice to just be like, oh my god, hi, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and like, so yeah. I was trying to remember y'all's names right now. That's what I was stressing out over. I don't. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that, sir, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. That's what we wish for. That's what we wish for. Yeah. I think mine would be invisibility cloak. I just want to wear that from Harry Potter. That's. I think it's a superpower to have that. Is that a cloak. superpower though? Because the cloak would be used. Whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Super item. It's my skin. It's disappearing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, invisibility. Invisibility would yeah. be superpower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like right now. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Gone. But yeah, what about you guys? What's your answer to that question? I feel like it's a very common question, but like, right, what do you... Right, you said it in the car. What's your... Oh, yeah. That, if I could just... Think of like words and they pop on the page without having to type them. Oh, oh that's actually that useful. Is a very okay, I feel like that's. Wish. It's funny because we all like. Well, yours is less. I mean, not that it's less useful, but less like normal. I know. It's yeah. A common answer. That's... Yeah, like that's like like a good skill. It's like, in, but it's like useful. Yeah. You know. Have you heard of voice to text though? <laughs> I mean, no, no. Like, like you think of like a paper, like you know, like I don't have paper on science and you want like these certain facts on it like that, that aren't real and then like, you say them and then it becomes real like oh okay so, like, so that's like work. well that's like oh. more useful but also like way more like <laughs> super power <laughs> yeah. yes yes yeah see that's like whoa age of instant gratification i'm gonna try like to like that. that yeah that's like a lot of like the the complexity of that superpower and so yeah. yeah no i can't yeah tell that to dan season two <laughs> yeah pitch it to dan figure it know? out let's figure it out what is y'all's answers teleportation teleportation yeah, yeah that's a good oh, one that's, that's a good great. one i feel like that's a useful one too yeah, that's good yeah or yeah, flying. Yeah, yeah. Like flying is obviously yeah, flying, like the most yeah. obvious one, but like how cool would it be to just fly? I know. The first scene this is actually the first scene of the show where you're trying to yeah, fly. Yeah, and so I don't. sad looking. And I don't. The animation is so upsetting because he just tries and your little sister's oh, just yep, doing just, circles just, around you. Yeah, literally. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, to fly. Okay. I gotta change my hands, so I gotta work on that. 